several drivers hit the track for off-weekend testing, and Infineon takes a different course promoting passing. This is Up to Speed. For most fans and officials, the weekend off meant another chance to relax before the final championship stretch. As for the teams, it meant another week in the office. Nine teams spent two days testing at the newly configured Infineon Raceway. The new course will take a different approach to the north end of the track before they head back through the S's. The top drivers in testing were Bruno Junquera, Vitor Mira, Scott Dixon, and 2006 winner Marco Andretti. Several others were on hand. Thomas Schechter, who will be racing this weekend, as well as Chicago, Alex Lloyd, who tested but won't be racing for Target Chip Ganassi, and drivers from KV Racing, Conquest Racing, Vision Racing, HVM Racing, and the 2005 pole sitter, Ryan Briscoe. Yeah, it's uh, it definitely, we have to brake a bit harder going into that corner. Um, hopefully, we'll create a bit better passing into there. I think we have to get on the brakes a little bit sooner than we, than we used to have to. Um, and there's still plenty of runoff there, which, which is nice. So uh, it's going to be tricky, though. It's, it's like a very tight hairpin, so any passing is always going to be risky. But uh, it makes it pretty tricky on the exit uh, to get a good exit to run back down the hill. But uh, I, think it, I think it's all positive. Not in front of your computer? Get it on the go with IndyCar Mobile timing and scoring. Last year, Scott Dixon and Elio Castroneves finished 1-2. This weekend, Elio hopes to break his race-winning drought. Set your TV reminders for the Peak Antifreeze and Motor Oil Indy Grand Prix of Sonoma County Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. For IndyCar.com, I'm Lauren Bolander and you're up to speed.